Welcome back to Digital Trends. Always a pleasure to have you watching us. Thank you for joining us. We are here today to talk about one of the things that I'm most excited about here at DT, which is an initiative we call Tech for Change. There's a lot of bad things going on in the tech industry. We like underscoring some of the good stuff that's going on. And that means little things and big things. It means little things like saving a couple bucks on gas because you've got a more fuel efficient car. It means big things like changing social media so it's not so harmful for all of us. Some of those things take a lot of time, let's be honest. I don't think social media is changing anytime soon. But there are a lot of companies doing really good stuff. We're here to underscore some of that. So we're joined by our friend Don from Qualcomm. Don, thank you for joining us. Hey, Jeremy. And Anupam, the, C the CTO and co-founder of GuardHot. Anupam, thank you for joining us as well. Um, Don, give us a little introduction here, if you would. Why are you bringing GuardHat to us today? Um, absolutely, Jeremy. So we really enjoyed this Tech for Change partnership with Thank you. Um, and it's, uh, important. it's important. Yeah, stuff. it's it's definitely important. In in the weeks past, we've brought you know products that help the visually impaired to blind see for the first time um, and use Braille in a better way and bridge the digital divide from humanware and from eSight. Uh, this week, we're going to take a little bit of a different turn with regards to Tech for Change, and we're going to talk more about workplace and worker safety sure. and how this great company um, has invented Guard Hat, and which is a smart hard hat and uh, how they've utilized Qualcomm technology to bring this to life and, and improve worker safety. Eight. So I'm excited about it. I'm excited too, a smart hard, hard hat. You see it right here, of course. Anupam, uh, maybe you can walk us through, and uh, first of all, what was the inspiration for this product? Hi. Hi, Don. Uh, Anupam here. So uh, the basic inspiration hey, started is uh, I just wanted to uh, share some stats with you. So every day in the US, even today, 14 people will not uh, get back home, unfortunately, due to industrial fatalities. And this number has been constant for the last four or five years. Uh, so just think about it, 14 people a day don't actually get back home because of industrial workplace incidents or accidents or safety related uh, situations. Also, if you look at the cost impact of this uh, to the economy, again, just US alone, from both the economic as well as a human perspective, we are looking at uh, a number annually in the excess of 250 billion. We'll be able to do two bucks on this. And if you uh, actually prorate it and look at the global numbers, yeah. they're absolutely shocking. How are they hearing now, you? From a pure founder perspective, myself and the other founders included, uh, we actually come from the industry. We used to run steel plants, uh, mining operations, and things like that. And uh, workplace safety always yeah, has been a key sure, aspect of our sure, 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 sure. business. And unfortunately, these kind of numbers are not sustainable, especially for an economy like ours, but globally as So one of the core goals for us when we started Guard Hat and created the solution was essentially just to do one thing and one thing only, which is to make sure that uh, the men and women who go to the workplace every day can come back home exactly in the same shape, if not better, and have uh, time with their families. And that's really the mission statement. And that seems like such a basic thing, but a really important point. As you said, a lot of people just don't make it home. Yeah, that's a great goal. So can you walk us through some of the functionality that we have here? How is this hard hat different than the ordinary hard hat? Anupam, can you hear me? I was just asking, how is this particular hard hat different than the average hard hat? Oh, looks like we're having some technical challenges there. Uh, while our engineers work on that, let's you and I talk, Don, because sure. you're right here with Absolutely. me. Absolutely. So, what's Qualcomm's relationship to this product? You guys are connect. You're built into this particular hard hat. Yeah. So, again, another great invention, um, powered by Qualcomm technology, and really, it's this is Snapdragon at work. Mm -hmm. um, there's the compute side of the story and there's the connectivity side of the story. So, from a compute perspective, what the Guard Hat hard hat leverages is the compute of Snapdragon to actually um, feed in sensor data um, that can then be com computationally kind of translated and deliver information back to whether it's a home base or, or somewhere some other location that then can um, call out alarms or safety concerns that might be associated with the person uh, wearing the hat and the environment that they're in. Um, so that all that computation happens at the Snapdragon level, and then it's fed back into the environment so that it can, again, increase the safety con concerns or the safety conditions. The connectivity side is really about our modem mm -hmm. and allowing for connectivity of the hat to its environment so that the companies can pinpoint the location of their workers who are wearing the hat, 
And if there's ever a problem, a uh, safety concern, or something happens, an accident happens, that you can feed voice and video straight to the hat. So whether it's instructions on how to maybe stay still or move or find something to avoid or find your way around, um, or it's video to help someone kind of get out of a situation or, or change a situation, um, it's re that's really the connectivity piece of the story. So it's really about comp compute and connectivity and bringing this hard hat to life and making it smart to then increase worker safety. Makes a lot of sense. I don't have a lot of hats that talk to me and it's kind of yes. neat that you can do that. Connectivity, of course, being a key factor of this. Yes. Uh, Anupam, are you back with us? I'm, I'm hoping you can hear me. I, I was hoping you can walk us through this a little bit as well. Uh, what sort of, are there any specifics you wanted to highlight for this hat? Absolutely, Don. So uh, basically the whole system is really built on three pillars. Maybe I, uh, let me cover those and then we can go into the specifics. The system, as you rightly Please. said, is really a next generation melding of wearables with compute onboard storage and a lot of connectivity options. But at its heart, the system really does three things. It first of all answers the question as to where the worker is in real time uh, in three dimensional space, because that's absolutely important for addressing a safety situation. It understands the environment that the worker is operating in. So it has a bunch of sensors, it has a connectivity option to static systems, which allows it to analyze and evaluate the scenarios that the worker is going through as they are working through the day. And finally, it provides a very comprehensive package of communication options, both to the human worker in terms of telephony, in terms of uh, making calls, being able to do push to talk, things like that. And also it allows the device to act almost as a hub, a personal area network, so to speak, where additional peripherals, additional equipment that the user may have gets connected. To walk through the system a little bit, it's a hard hat, end of the day. We wanted to keep it as simple as possible. So end of the, you know, leaving all the technology aside, it's still a hat, it still protects your head. But if you look at the front end of the system where you have a set of buttons, you see the button bar on the downside, below uh, the brim, where you have the interaction modes that the operator or the user can use. For example, there's a panic button which is a general purpose uh, call for help that you just make a single press and you're good to go. Someone will come and help you with that. You have a set of telephony buttons or media buttons again at the bottom where you basically make a single press call to a safety operator and it connects you to whoever that operation center may be. It could be halfway around the world or it could be just next door. Regardless, the system will make sure and ensure that you can talk to someone for any scenario that you're working through. It has your offline media systems, and finally, also has a camera subsystem that's uh, built in. That is remarkably powerful, and uh, it makes a lot of sense. We, we think about hard hats, uh, I think people that are outside of the industry think about this as a $10 accessory, but it's not just an accessory, it's a life-saving tool, especially the way that you guys have tricked this out to make it so much smarter and more intelligent. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, as one of the more uh, most common personal protective equipment, I mean, the first thing you notice when you walk by a construction site, you see the helmet, right? And that's a very, very viable system for pushing out technology like this, which, where it is a wearable, it's a common device, people know what a hard hat is, but it expands the possibility of making the workplace a lot safer. Yeah, I love it. I, th I think it's a, a great innovation. Um, and, and as I was saying with the at the beginning here, sometimes tech for change means little small things, sometimes it means big things, right. and sometimes it means life-saving devices in places you don't even Absolutely. think about. Don, one last quick question for you, if I sure. could. Um, interesting to think about a Qualcomm product being put into a hard hat. Right. Uh, are there a lot of other weird places that you're doing? <laughs> well, we think we, about Qualcomm as chips in computers and in phones. Right. But. We, are, we, are, we are discovering and unearthing um, great companies, uh, great inventors like, like Guard Hat, using our technology for new and innovative things. Um, one of the things, like I said on the other segments, I've been so grateful and, and I'm filled with gratitude to be able to bring exposure for these products. Um, the hard hat, especially that Guard has produced, I mean, imagine in an in industrial setting, you know, how many lives it could save um, and, uh, and how it can increase worker safety. It's really a powerful use case for, for Snapdragon, uh, both from a low power compute and connectivity perspective. Sure. And the fact that it is so tiny and is so low power, it's enabled. It's enabled to be integrated into these these types of devices. So again, a great a great testament to the invention that Guard Hat has come up with. The inventors back at Qualcomm who work so hard on this technology, 
um, uh, to bring these types of products to life. So um, again, another great example and it really another really cool invention yeah. that is um, it's for good. And, and to me, this really underscores the power of what we call the Internet of Things. It's just a stupid buzzword, <laughs> right, idea. But, right. but for real, uh, a, a thing like this, a hard hat, when you smarten it, look at what you can do with this. It's got fall detection built in, which is just intuitive. It just makes right. logical sense. Of course the hat should detect when I'm fallen right. and, and perhaps ring 911 to bring help in. It just makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's the continuation of the diversification of our business by taking the mobile revolution and the mobile technology that we've invented and spreading it to more categories, more places, more devices. Um, it's just, it's, our, it's the journey that we've been on for so many years. And so we're really, again, excited to see what Anupam and the team at, at Guard Hat have come up with and look forward to continuing to bring more products like this to, uh, to the attention of, of your viewers and your audience. Well, great stuff. Thank you, Don. Sure. Anupam, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, apologies for the challenges that we had with the audio there for a bit. Uh, we have lots more neat technology coming up for you after this short break, so please do stick around.